we are finally back in the Hunter Classic and back to hunting for trophies for this incredible new lodge. We're gonna head to Timbergold Trails today, mostly because of skull mounts. We have the ability to go for wolves, grizzly bear, puma, all that stuff, and of course, mule deer, Rocky Mountain elk, those sorts of things are still on the map as well. I wanna say it was our last hunt on Timbergold Trails where we shot our personal best mule deer at 242, so we'll see what's waiting on us out here today. But hopefully we can add at least one new trophy to the lodge. And fittingly enough, we start this hunt with a pretty good looking mule deer as well. 170 to 195. And I think the rain is maybe letting up a little bit. The wind is always worse in the rain. And that can impact our shot. But 25 meters. That's going to drop him. And this has been a slow start for a timber gold hunt. I'm kind of hoping maybe this is a spawn with more wolves, pumas, Grizzly bear, the stuff that we're after anyway, because there's been very few calls from elk or mule deer, but in this case, first ground of the hunt leads to a pretty good one, double on liver shot, 191 score, 135 kilo too, a pretty heavy one. So hopefully it's only up from here, and hopefully as we kind of move into the center of the map, we can start to encounter some more animals. Well, I would certainly say moving in the right direction. Got a couple of bucks here, and I'm not sure if this is a group, or two solo bucks that have kind of just wandered into the same area. That one sees us. So before anything too terrible happens here, let's just see if we can land that shot at 40. Felt like we're a little far right. And actually, if anything, I think the wind maybe helped us, but perhaps too far. It looked like it pushed the arrow to the left. I don't want to run or anything because this is a pretty decent area. Just across the river down there, a lot of times you'll get wolves, elk, mule deer, we may run this last little bit just to quickly see where we actually hit him. Don't see a lot of blood. That is a body hit, which is not what we're after. But there you go. A mule deer buck grunting right there across the river. So what we'll do is we'll go down here, jump in the tree stand, call that in. Maybe set down the color for wolves and stuff as well. And hopefully by the time we're done with whatever may happen here, and it looks like there's plenty of options, including a solid buck. We'll go and track that one down. You know, the closer he gets, the better he looks. But the problem is, he's got a couple of wild stickers. They're going to cost him that 200 plus status. Look at this one coming off like his brow tie. That's a really big sticker for a mule deer. Then another one there that's definitely not going to help things. But because we've already got one deer to track, we're going to take our time with this. We're closing in on 20. Got a grizzly over there. And they were trotting around a bit. As if maybe they were spooked. I'm not sure if that was the grizzly or if there's wolves. Let's see if we can land this though to not have to track. That'll do. And then this grizzly, if he doesn't spook, which he is going to take off, was at least kind of decent. 23 to 26. So not something we want to go and track. And the question is now, because that's not going to buy us enough time to track down that other one yet. He's still going to be probably on his feet for a little bit. Where do we want to go from here? But as for this guy, like I said, a really nice frame. <laughs> that sticker is definitely going to cost him. Ended up with a double lung shot. 196. So easily, I would say, if not for the fact that he had those, he must have been right in that 205 area because that's considerable deduction. And just because he's got that unique sticker, I wanted to try to get a trophy shot. I think at least like having the darker body of the mule deer kind of contrast that time. At least you can see it. 196 for that guy. That's one of the better, you know, small frame bucks with stickers that we've ever had and in the meantime I guess we'll maybe do a little loop around here see if we can kill a little time then go back and track that buck I don't see this bear but it sure seems angry with us there it is it's hiding behind that tree perfectly is that the same one just a female but we do have the drilling combo gun and that was a great opportunity to get to fire it I brought it as much because it's got a great sound as because I think it's a good gun for grizzlies, wolves, and puma. Something that we have like a decent scope for and it's ethical for all three. So in that case, not a grizzly we're trying to, you know, make a skull mount of, but a little bonus kill and I can just kind of kill in time. Luckily, I'd say we were far enough. If that buck that we hit was still alive, he wouldn't have heard that shot. I have been following this bear for so long and he's another 23 to 26. This one's max weight estimate, 300 to 360. But unfortunately, not exactly worth the effort. So we're going to try to somehow sneak a shot in here naturally. 
laid down right in front of that brush. But I wonder if he's going to maybe turn a little bit or if we are just going to go for a bad angle. Turned a little there. I guess we dropped him? That was a really weird reaction. It looked to me as if he took... And we were reloading by then, so I'm not sure. But it looked like he took two, three steps and then just fell over. But it's always a risk with Grizzly Bear, I feel like, tracking max weight estimate bears. Unfortunately, in this case, not really going to work out in our favor. We got the shot we were looking for. 24.2 isn't bad. Definitely not big enough to do a skull mount of, but we'll take the 96 GM from that track. But intestine, stomach, right lung, and liver at that crazy angle at a very nice distance? Like I said, maybe not worth the effort to go through, but the GM reward at least is solid. I guess it's just going to be a day of stickers. Got a 100 to 130 buck coming in here. And he's got another really big sticker coming off that main beam. I just realized, by the way, I don't think we ever tracked that other buck. We hit that heavy bear track and never went after it. I'm really not sure those tracks will still be there. We also can't fast travel yet. So <laughs> we, we may go back and try to get it just because. But I'm really not confident we'll be able to. Finally, by the way, there was a wolf track, so maybe we can actually get after some of them. As for our buck, hard shot him with a 9.3, 115 score. And I mostly wanted to use the gun just because calling him in, he wasn't a very big buck. I didn't feel like it was that worth it. But also, I want to see if we can maybe get after, you know, these wolves up here or eventually get far enough north to run into some pumas. Because at this rate, it's kind of just been mule deer bucks and the occasional grizzly. So that is what we're after. And that looks to be a male puma. Now our spotting tracking everything for them is quite low. So I do want to spot it real quick. But we can see it's got a big skull. The females are pretty notably smaller than that. Ooh, good weight, 70 to 105. Might just be one worthy of a skull mount. We shall see. But before we get to that, we want to make sure we can get them. So that's the, I think it's dark red variant. And the only thing that could happen is if it did turn out to be a giant, we have, I think, a 15.9 something full body mounted right inside our lodge. And because this one has a fur variant, we may actually end up replacing that. We'll see. But nice our first Pumas down here in the river and a good one. And if we see, I don't know, 90 plus kilo on this weight, we might be looking at one that ends up in the lodge. It does look big, but maybe that's the water doing that. I kind of think it is. He is 84 kilo. Hard shot, 15.3. I mean, that's solid, but that's definitely not big enough to make a skull mount of. 15 plus for a male is fairly normal, but 157 GM, much like the Grizzly earlier, we'll take that for our efforts in this time. Didn't have to track it all across the map. He called, we put down the e-caller, had him in two minutes. It's only taken about an hour and a half, but I feel like we're really moving along here. We just had a Puma, we've got some wolf tracks, a quality Rocky Mountain Elk, nothing special, but at least something different than what we've seen the entirety of this hunt. So, just gonna drop that guy with the bow. Got another elk out there. I think that's a pretty small bull, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's not one we'll worry about. But as we continue north here, still a chance of more Pumas. Hopefully we can find a pack of wolves with a, with a decent male in it. I'd love to get a wolf skull or two in that lodge. That's not something that we've maybe ever done. When we've shot wolves, typically we do the full body mount, but the one place that we're lacking in, outside of waterfowl plaques, are the skull mounts. So that's kind of what I want to focus on, and if we can even get like a 16.1 or something, I, I think we would do that mount. Ooh, that looks a little better. 365 to 415. I, man, he might have a chance. There was another elk, that's just a cow. I don't know if those times are long enough. I think because he's all the way over there, he's, if I'm not mistaken, he's responding to our call, and it's a good thing that we dropped that bull. Can we get like a decent window? We're kind of shooting through blades of grass. That's going to get him. That is the last round in that box of ammo anyway, so I wanted to use that up. We'll get a fresh box in there. Actually, we're out of arrows too. Now let's go see, is that going to be a 400 plus? It's all I think going to come down to the time length. Of those, maybe the brow tines, I couldn't see them well. But the, the first tine above the brows, that I think is what's going to determine this. And he certainly landed in a way we can get a decent look. Man, actually, 
Oh, I thought he had three back tines, though. That may be the difference. They're good back tines. But all these look good length. They're even. I still think he could crack it, but those extra back tines would really help. Fingers crossed for this. Double lung liver. 397. He was there if he had the other back tines. Still a huge elk. I really wish we could do skull mounts of the Rocky Mountain Elk. I thought we could. Evidently, that's not a thing. And I don't think, unfortunately, we're going to put him in the lodge. What we have right now is like a 400 and change and a 401. And I don't know that there's anything we'd replace with a 397. That's such a bummer. I was sure I saw <laughs> three back tines, but maybe they were kind of like staggered like that. Either way, he's huge. Just... A little below that threshold for what we want to do in the lodge. That does make back-to-back -back hunts, though, on Timbergold, where we shot some kind of monster antlered animal. That's so crazy he was that close. No doubt subtotal he's over 400, but just... I was so certain I saw those three times. That's killing me that he didn't actually have them. But that's an awesome bull. Like, it's been a while since we've gotten one even that big. I mean, we're just... Back to back to back potential trophy lodge additions? The weight on this probably keeps him out. 15 to 17 scoring wolf. There was, I think, a howl up in the mountains, but might as well try to get this guy and just sticking with the 9.3. So in this case, because of the way the land lays, I think we're actually going to crouch forward, get that little stability boost, and try to get him as he's crossing the river there. This should work. That hit absurdly low. How far was that? Maybe it was way further than I thought. I don't feel like that should have hit him in the leg. It'll probably still kill him. It's a big round and a smallish animal, but sure isn't the drop shot I wanted. Looks like it did get him too, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he's laying there right in the river. Saw a couple more wolves run around out there, so potential even for maybe another one we can get. But let's see, if this guy has, you know, maybe he's 74 kilo, the estimate was up to 75. He's maybe got a chance to top in 16. And I don't even know what a wolf skull looks like in the lodge. So if he gets there, we'll probably do it. He has 71 kilo. Is he going to be, oh boy, 16.04. So we have a 397 elk, 400 will be the threshold. I said 16.1. Ah, what the heck, we'll do a skull mount. I got to know what it looks like. So let's do that. Maybe we can even get a better one, but I'd much rather, you know, have that and get to see what it looks like, and then maybe no. You know, do we really want to focus on wolves, bears, puma, I guess wild boar will be an option, or do we want to, you know, go some other direction? So, try to spot these if we can. I think he ran down over the hill. Well, that could be a thing. It's 75 to 85 kilo, another 15 to 17 wolf. This is a bizarre hunt. And yet again... We may just roll with the 9.3. I'm not sure, was he trotting? That's a different one. But he was moving across there too, I think. Yeah, that's him. Can we get like a clean look through there? Oh boy. That's not what I wanted. Uh, Man, I've got the color. I'm just afraid that's not going to stop him. Maybe if he'll slow down? I guess we'll throw it out here. This is not what I thought was going to happen. This one, is it running into the call? What just... I don't have a clue what is going on. So, I guess it responded? Not really saying the same for any of the other wolves around here. If it stayed... The one that we're actually after, if it stayed within 200 meters, it should come in. I've never seen one do that, though. I think that's him. Boy, is he out there, too. We know this is going to hit low. I think we're going to try this. I just heard a puma as well. Got to get this before the tree or maybe just after. I think we hit him. May have dropped him. I don't see him laying out there. I thought I saw like a little bit of a reaction. This is... <laughs> what a crazy sequence of events. Yeah, he's not laying there dead or anything. So we're going to mark that. In the meantime, this one that ran right by us was a body hit. So... Maybe we'll remember to come back and track that. <laughs> what in the world is going on? This is just a mess. There's tracks everywhere. I can't figure out what's what. 
but I don't see any evidence that we actually hit him. Maybe we did hit too low, it's hard to say. That was a rush shot and we couldn't, he kind of walked behind a tree as we shot, so it was hard to see his reaction. I haven't seen any blood. We have fresh roaming tracks here. So no doubt he spooked again as we came over here to try to track, but we're gonna have to either try to spot him in the distance, would be nice if he was standing up there shot in like a blonde grizzly bear, but that or we wait for him to call and see if we can call him in this time. Actually, I think our wolf is standing out there like that grizzly bear. It's very possible it's a different one. Now that's it. You can see that big old skull, 15 to 17, that's the one. And I think this time, hard for him to go anywhere minus just chasing something. You would think 170 is fine, but that's about the distance we hit that other one in the left front leg. So I'm just gonna walk into maybe 140-ish. And I think we should be good. My only concern, if there's an elk or something around that he just decides to turn and chase, that could mess us up. But we're about 150. Let's go ahead and get the gun. I think 150 is fine even. So nervous about him just taking off. And we'll put this maybe like around the spine just for safe measure. We don't want to hit the head. And of course he's gonna move because Ideally, we don't want a bullet hole in our skull mount. That's going to gain us a little extra room. He kind of hesitated there. That's going to drop him. This is just the weirdest hunt. Maybe that we've ever had on Timbergold. But he looked considerably larger than the last one that we just shot. So, fingers crossed. I definitely think that looks like a good sized wolf. Weighs only 77 kilo. 16.3 though is much more like what we're after. So that is definitely one that we want to do on the wall or potentially on a tabletop, depends on how we do that. But I think we'll even take a trophy shot of this guy. I like that he's the common black variant. It's not that new one, which actually I don't even know the name of. I would have had to at least consider full body mounting that because we don't have a big one. This we've got a decent sized one of and we can do the skull mount instead. You know, he looks happier than I thought considering we just shot him out there on that mountainside, but tough spot to get a trophy shot that's about as good as we're gonna get and I think after all the crazy events that have happened today we're gonna run back our other wolf should be down by now we'll go and track that and I think we're gonna wrap this one up obviously that one buck that we hit early on we're never gonna go and find that little unfortunate just kind of forgot about it but in the end it led to two wolves that we've done skull mounts of probably didn't have to do the first one looking back but gonna be glad to fill those spaces and a 397 bull elk in the process. So in total, I think we ended up with, I'm gonna say 12 kills, 11 harvests. But this crazy wolf that ran literally right past us and we shot at four and a half meters, shoulder blade and skull by the way. And I guess if there's gonna be an elk call and we already had a 397, might as well add one more to the list and maybe we can get the 12 harvest before we go back. And just to round out this bizarre hunt, our bull appears to be kind of stuck over there. He's not bad either, 350 to 400. At least there's no getting our hopes up to need top 400. Can we land a shot that's gonna not screw everything up here? He's actually kind of gotten unstuck. And we'll stick with a 9.3 because at this point we already have it. That is not gonna make our life easy. I think we should have found single lung there, but he's getting kind of close. And I can see from here pink blood and I actually think yeah he's laying just to our right so one additional kill is gonna be a pretty nice bowl but with a max SM to 400 no chance of topping that he could I guess in theory still top our other one what does he even have for back tines he also has two it looks like oh he's got three on that side man one short time there that's gonna hurt him anyway right lung shot at 23 meters He's going to be a 381. Quite a quality hunt. In total now we have 853 CSS of rewards in 12 harvests. Not something we'll get on most hunts. But anyway, let's jump back and place our two wolf skulls in the lodge. And so, because these two spots were the only empty ones in the main room for skull mounts, I figured we'd go ahead and do our new wolf skulls there. 16.04 and 16.31. And I think they look pretty good. I think what we'll ultimately do is actually swap them with the wild boar skulls we have. Got this 1208 from last year and the 1028 from earlier this year. I feel like we put those opposite sides of the doorway, the wolf skulls down here on the tables, 
that'll probably look a little bit better, but nice to actually add to this lodge and nearly, you know, multiple more times, specifically with that 397 elk. Timber gold definitely had a lot for us to go and find today. And I really, you know, I mentioned the, the skull mounts and the waterfowl. That's the big things that were just completely missing in this lodge. I'm really glad we got to add to it. I'm looking forward to adding more next time we go for a hunt here in the Hunter Classic. So anyway, that's going to do it for this video. As always, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.